Hi, everybody. This is week two, day three, page two. Pay two different ways. Set one. Sh directions. Show two different ways to pay for each item. Now, quick reminder that the main coins that we use in America are penny, nickel, dime, and quarter. These are all some types of change. Pennies one and nickels five. And dime is 10 and quarters 25. So those are the main ones we're going to be using today. Now I'm going to need a whiteboard so that you can see what I'm doing. There's Mr. Crandall's whiteboard. And there it is. And oh, hey, the stuff from last lesson is left over. So we got to erase that. I always forget to erase it before my videos. I apologize, everybody. There we go. All right, sorry about that, wait. So, once again, penny, nickel, dime, and quarter. We got a penny is one. Ooh, penny is one. One. Dime is a little bit smaller. It's 10. Sorry, we're penny, nickel, we're going to order. Nickel's a little bit bigger, it's a five. Dime's a little bit smaller, it's a 10, and a quarter is a little bit bigger, 25. Now, like we said last time, when we are paying in different ways, we start with the biggest numbers first and then slowly go smaller. The number they want us to pay is 65. That's the first one right there. See, it says 65. So let's try. Remember, the number we're going for is 65. So we start with the biggest coin first and see how close we can get. 25. Is that 65 yet? Nope. Plus 25. Is that 65 yet? Nope. Plus 25. 25 plus 25 is 50. 50 plus 25 is 75. Oh, too big. All right, so that right there, that right there is 50, and we need 15 more cents. So let's add, the, like I said, we go to the next biggest, which is a 10 plus 10. Let's see. So 50 plus 10 is 60. And we add one more 10. 60 plus, seven, 60 plus 10 is 70. Oh, that's too big. That won't work. So we can get one 10, but not the other. So this is 60 right here. And then we go to the next smallest, which is 5. See, 25, 10, and 5. So we have how many quarters? Let's see. 1, 2. How many dimes? One. And how many nickels? One. So on the other page, well, and we'll go back so you can see it, what you do is you write the numbers. So let's see, we have two quarters, one dime, one nickel. Back we go. So how to pay num way number one. So we had two quarters, one dime, and one nickel, and zero pennies. Now, how do we pay another way? Now, I'm going to do this first one the very simplest, easiest way possible. Now, you wouldn't want to do this in real life because it would take forever. But you can always pay this whole amount in pennies. And I'll show you what I mean. Because 65 cents, because that's what we're looking for. We're looking to buy a toy for 65 cents. Sixty-five cents. Oop, when it's cents, it's on the other side. Sixty-five cents can be paid by sixty-five pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-five, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five, seventy-six, seventy-seven, seventy-eight, seventy-nine, ninety, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-three, ninety-four, ninety-five, ninety-six, ninety-seven, ninety-eight
Now we're on the next one. It says 39 cents. 39 cents for a beach ball. 39 cents for a beach ball. Let's erase all these pennies. Okay, so we have 39 cents. Like I said, we start with the biggest first. 25. Is that 39 yet? Nope. Can we add a 25? Let's see. 25 plus 25 is 50. That's too big. So 25 plus 10, because we go to the next one. So we got 25. We got 10. 25 plus 10 is 35. 25 plus 10 is 35. So, sorry, 35. is that, And then we add another 10, because like I said, we always keep going. 35 plus 10 is 45. Too big. Let's add our next one, which will be a nickel. Let's see if a nickel works. 25 plus 10 is 35. 35 plus 5 is 40. Too big. So we have our 10s, and we need a couple pennies because we got 35 right here, and then we got 36, 37, 38, 39. So one quarter, one dime, and four pennies. One quarter, one dime, four pennies. One quarter, one dime, four pennies. Oop, and no nickels. We didn't have any nickels. Four pennies. So what's another way to do that? We already did this one. That's too easy. So let's do another one. What's another way we can make money out of this? Let's try. Ooh. Let's instead of using 25s, let's using let's use a bunch of 10s first. Like I said, the cool thing about change is that you can make change in a bunch of different ways. So let's try it with 10s. 10 plus 10 is 20, plus 10 is 30, plus 10 is 40, too big. So we can do three 10s, one 10, two 10s, three 10s. And then let's go to the next one. Let's go with five. So that's 35 right there. Wink. And if we add another five, it'll be 40, so that won't work. So now we gotta go to pennies again. So we got 35, and then we're gonna get 10, sorry, four pennies. So 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. Wink. One, two, three, four. So let's see how many dimes that is. One, two, th three dimes. How many nickels? One, oh, accidentally erased it. How many nickels? One dime, sorry, one nickel, sorry. Get one nickel and four pennies. One, two, three, four. So three dimes, one nickel, four pennies, and no quarters. Zero quarters, zero. Three dimes, one nickel, four pennies. And zero quarters, three dimes, one nickel, four pennies. All right, friends, if you need more help on that, please have your parents contact me. I'm not going to do all of them for you, but you can see that, by the way, please only do this for the very first one or for one more because you could do that for every single one, and that wouldn't really help. It's better for you to work on this and understand how money works. All right, guys, once again, this was week two, day three, page, what are we on page? Are we on page two? Pay two different ways, set one. Off we go.